While on patrol, a police officer happened to notice a woman pulling a man along the sidewalk. You saying you're shot? Only to discover later that he had been shot multiple times. She looks like she dragged him from right there. As the officers delved into the investigation to identify the perpetrator, they swiftly realized it was not a random incident, but potentially part of a larger scheme. Show me your hands! On December 29th, 2020, around 2.41 p.m., a Duluth Police Department officer, while on patrol, witnessed a woman dragging a man on the sidewalk. What the officer uncovered had profound implications for everyone involved. Cameron Maurice Jones. What is it? Cameron Maurice Jones. Where, Cameron Maurice Jones. What happened to you, Cameron? I don't know. Where is he? Where are you, you saying you're shot? Where? I just drug him. Brought him in. Just, what, what's going on here? You got shot, dude. Where? Where? And I had to drag him in the yard. And someone got him in the yard or on the stairs or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll need a couple more squads here. I'm not sure what's going on yet. I got someone saying he's shot. He's bleeding somewhere yeah, on his is. back. Cameron. 10 can you, 46, 36 can, on the way. Can, can you, you tell me what happened? 21. Which house? Send me up. Send me up. I don't know what happened Come to you on. yet. 47, 10 yeah. Which house? Up. Right outside of here. Wait, where, where's here? Right there? Right in between, yes. Okay. This is hillside, like before, though. Okay, this I, is ghetto shit. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't either. Like, so, he does, I don't did know. you see what happened? Cameron? No. What happened, man? Oh, no. Am I, do I need to be worried about someone else coming out with a gun? Right here, give me both hands. Go over this way. Well, we don't know where he's injured at. Let him stay where he's at. Can, let him stay where he's at. Why sit him up? Listen, to, wait till the ambulance gets here. Y'all f me too. That's okay. I'm, I don't, I'm not doing anything with you. I don't no, know what's going on. At least I was trying to get you in trouble. Am I trying to get you in trouble right now? I'm trying okay. to help somebody. But... So, Cameron, where are you hurt? Where are you hurt? Oh, he's leaving. medical to come right in our stage. Yeah, we're right on the uh, corner here. It looks like he's got a hole in his back. Um, looks like it might have been something in the back, but I can't tell you. I'm not getting much information from anybody. It's hey, Dan. Saying, you look like you dragged him right there. Yeah, like Dan, everybody like walks between him. Come on. Okay. So where did you come from, ma'am? I'm like right upstairs. I'm tired. I'm not been here 10 years. Yeah. So what, what, what do you know happened? All I know is I heard hell I heard it was pop, pop, pop. Right, why don't you stop stepping in the blood? Let's come over here. Okay. Porch, like, he him. was on your porch? Yeah, but his feet were like, I don't know. Gone. So he was up there? I had to run to my other door to help him. He was, he, what, what porch right was he here, on? Right here, dude, I'm telling you. All the feet here, I don't know. Okay, so he came, so he, that porch I there? I think he walked through and something popped him as he's walking through because I heard the pop, 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 pop. How many pops did you like hear? Like four or five maybe? I don't know, dude. Okay. He got shot in his ass in his back. Like where where was he standing when he got I him? don't know. Okay, where did you find him? Out on his porch. On top of this porch yes, right here? Yes, my porch. I can't I understand that's your porch. So he was up on top of that porch right there? Yeah, I think he was like, hell, hell, because they obviously popped him in the back. Then okay. I had to drag him, because like, he was like, help me, and I, I couldn't get out the door. Okay. Because the feet were in there. So then you had to go out the other door? Yes. And came up here? Yes. Okay. And I drag him like, you want, do you want me to drag him to the street? Because I don't have a phone. Do you want me to have me at the phone? Because I'm... Do you know who that is? Yeah, I met him before, yeah. So, Cameron, what can you tell me happened? I don't know. Where, do you know where this happened at? Right in the yard. Okay. Did you see anybody? No. What were you doing in the yard? I was visiting. Who were you visiting? Uh, okay. Were you in the house at all or were you out in the yard? <laughs> Hold on, bud. Okay. Where, where do you feel pain? I mean, there's, you got a hole right there. I don't know. I can't see anything else. Cameron, we got an ambulance coming for you, okay? How you doing right now? I don't know how you breathe. Okay. Keep breathing. Why don't you sit up? Are you able to sit up? <laughs> okay. Can you lay on your side, buddy? Just like that. How's that feel? Okay. It's turning white. You got a blanket in your squad? Cameron, can you hear me? Okay. Are you on any drugs at all right now? Okay, what are you on? Just weed? Okay, how much meth did you take? When was the last time you took some? Okay. Hang tight, bud. Unbeknownst to the officers initially, it was later revealed that the man had suffered eight gunshot wounds. Why don't you sit up for a little bit? Can you sit up? Are you able to sit up? Okay. Okay. Anybody got a blanket on him? Get with me. They're gonna need some help here. He was drunk from that yard. He can't tell me much. Um, 
we're just trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay. I'm gonna go check if we have Okay. Up here. Cameron! Who are you in the yard with? Myself. Okay, how long were you there? I don't know, for like five minutes. Okay, so you were there for five minutes, and then what happened? So you were in the house. Yeah, I heard a pop, 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 pop. You heard pop, you pop, pop. You can smell it even because my windows have been open. You can okay. smell the burn. I don't know if it's BBs or what. I heard the pops. Okay, you heard Is the it? pops, and you heard multiple? Yeah, I heard like maybe five. Know, four so five. apparently he was up on that porch, that wooden porch right yeah, here. Yeah, I don't like you guys going in my house, but my door's open. This porch right here. Dude, I dropped him right here. This is where I had yep. him. I drag him, yes. So is there else there? No, it's just me. I'm the only one home. My door's always locked. No, no, no. No, I don't deal with people. Okay. They people rob me in my house. You guys know this shit. Okay. Yes. We don't have any idea what happened yet. We're not getting much information. How did you guys wind up here? I'm driving by and she's dragging him down the sidewalk. I'm gonna need you to. Did someone talk to you yet? Yeah, I talked to you guys, but everyone inside is freezing. Well, just wait here. We don't know what we got in that house yet. If this happened here. Yeah, two people in the back. Okay. Uh, two cops. Nobody's going in the house right now. Okay, no one's going in. I don't need to smoke cigarettes. Is this possibly in this place right here? She lives in this. Yeah. She was standing on the porch right here. 20 St. Louis. We gotta secure a scene here, but we're not sure where it is, so if we have another squad or two to help. You are right now? So he's got two, looks like gunshot wounds in the lower back. Okay. I, I drive down the street and I watch this, uh, what's her face up there, dragging this way. So, um, Andy thinks they got a spot where it happened at. I don't know if it's in the house or outside, but we've got kind of a crime scene over there right now, and I, I want to make sure we're getting that. Yep. Upon the arrival of backup and paramedics tending to the victim, officers entered the apartment to eliminate any potential threats. Once inside, Officers promptly commenced gathering evidence and unraveling the true significance of the crime. There's blood inside here and on the curtain. Okay. Police department! Police department! Come on out! Another projectile here too. I ca I'll cover this way. If you want a quick check uh, through that stuff here before we pass it up, that window's wide open. So I don't know what that means. Okay. This is one, two, three, four, five. Room to the left if you want to hold that way. Okay. Police department, anyone in this bathroom? Clear. One uh, this apartment is clear. Uh, we are going to hold it. There is indications of shell casings and projectiles and blood inside the residence. Hey Mike, so we got a scene in here. There's projectiles and casings and blood. This window was open, so I don't know if at any point anybody went out this window at all. So let's keep her out. In a subsequent interview, the woman observed dragging the victim down the sidewalk meticulously recounted the hours and minutes leading up to the brutal shooting. Each piece of information brought clarity to the scene until an unusual clue baffled everyone. So, you said that um, Cameron, how do you know him? I just met him yesterday. Like, how'd you meet him? I met him my friend, um, Jojo. And so he leaves around noon, he comes back so around 1 or 1.30? I don't know, because I remember the shooting happened like right away almost. Except I wasn't right away. He called people on the phone, some of them 
I don't pay attention to this cleaning you know. Yeah. So I'm meeting up. I didn't hear where he said to meet up, but they said, Pat, I'll come to you or something. So he comes in with the lunch. Does he leave again before the shooting? He's here the whole time? Yeah. And then does anyone else come in before the shooting? Like Jojo? I heard, no, all I heard was like a click of the screen door. You know, I was not a man. So it's quiet. And he calls time. someone and you hear him talking to someone on the phone? Yeah, they just supposed to meet up. So. Did you hear the voice of Willie talking to him? Was male or female? Female. Because okay. female like, came in here, so I can't believe at this place. And it was quiet. And after a while, then I was like, pop, 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 pop. So it sounds like he's calling her. Says, tells her to come over here. Oh yeah, I was gonna give you guys this. This is this is thrown on top of him. Oh, on top of him? Yeah, that's how I know right here. A rose was thrown on top of him? Yes. I where, it. where on him? Oh no, you can tell it's thrown on top of him. Because I didn't want the vine cut. Well when you walked in here he was on the bed, right? No, he was on the floor and the room was just f***ed up. Okay. Remember it? And you guys had to go through it? We yeah. did, but was the room like that before those people came here? No. But this is his, this was falling on top of, like, I know they threw it on top of him they shot him. Because I was That wasn't there before, was it? This saying? wasn't in this room, and the vine's cut even. I found it even in the garbage. Like, the vine and everything, and then the rose petals. Which like, garbage? That girl, remember when I told you that, told everybody that girl came this way and then back this way? Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of IDs and sheriff officer shit right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that was I know that guy. I know that native guy. Anyways, she went this way, and then I found the vine and everything on my collar, like, on, on my microwave. I find this in here. Come on. So you're saying you could hear the more than one person walking up, you're saying? I hear him walking up. All I hear is a swing of the door, and I know by the seconds I'm hoping I had the more than one person. No, yeah. I heard the shots. I thought he was flying. I ran right outside because the window was open. That's how we got shot in the middle. This window was open? Yeah. Okay. Because I smelled the gunpowder and everything. And so when you come in and find him, you don't I see... I didn't find him. I ran outside first. Oh, you outside. went outside the back? Yeah, and then outside I heard, help me, help me, and I come in here and he was shot. You ran outside and came back in here? Yeah, and, and then I heard, help me, help me, and I opened the thing and he's all f***ed up in here. Could you watch him? Oh, out? he dropped himself out. Like I think he's paralyzed. Up. Yeah. yeah. Did he's you like paralyzed. So when you ran outside, did you see anyone outside? Did you see the, any vehicles? No vehicles, anything? nobody, nothing. Because okay. I was like, boom, boom, like really fast. Yeah. Then I was like, I came in here and I heard, help me, help me. I'm like, what the f what am I supposed to do? Did he, what did he say to you when you came in? This is where the blood spot was right here. It's yeah. kind of funny right here. He did a really good job cleaning. Holy cow. That's impressive. Yeah, he's resolved. What did he say? Because, I mean, he's got to say. He didn't say shit. He just said, call him, let's help me. Who did, did he tell you who shot no, him? No, I was like, what the f happened? Sure. And then he already drugged himself that way. That's why the blood is like this. Because it's drip, drip, drip. Like he fell. Where did you find this other bullet? Is oh, it a bullet or a casing? It's a casing. So it's an empty? Yeah. Where'd you find that? I found it on the floor. I like was where? cleaning. Was we cleaning. went through it was pretty good, so it I must sweat. have fell out of something. No, I'm telling you, I was sweeping. Yep. I thought I was shaking out the Can you the be haze. specific of where, though? Oh, yeah, it was all awesome. It was fucked up. Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. The bed yeah. was here, right where it was. Yeah. There's a few other things I'm here. I'm talking about some of the shit over here. I think I was shaking So it was out. over there? I think so. Because it's in this garbage bag. So it was a casing. I was throwing on this up because all that is really stuff. So. Here it is. A total of 14 casings from a Browning 9 EM Luger and numerous bullets were retrieved from the shooting scene. Remarkably, the victim, Cameron, sustained nine bullet wounds but managed to survive and cooperate with investigators from his hospital bed. Despite claiming no memory of the shooting, police, according to court documents, promptly began interviewing known associates, revealing the victim's connection to Alexia Giage H. Jige Mary Cutbank. Investigators reached out to the Paul Bunyan Drug Task Force in Beltrami County, confirming that Alexia Cutbank was the sister of Montana Cutbank, awaiting trial for allegedly murdering a criminal associate in November 2020. As the police continued their investigation, it became increasingly evident that this was a mob or organized crime attempted assassination. Cameron's friends and family believed he was the intended target of the murder. Investigators scrutinized jail calls between Alexia and Montana Cutbank, discovering crucial evidence, including Montana asking Alexia if she had carried out the act. Alexia admitted to it and mentioned bringing someone else, Seneca warrior Steep Rock along. Checking Montana Cutbank's known associates led investigators to an apartment where Alexia Cutbank and Steep Rock were hiding. 
Before making contact, it became apparent that apprehending them would not be straightforward. On your knees! Show me your hands! Alexia Cutbank was apprehended without incident, with court documents revealing her possession of a loaded 9mm handgun, matching the one used in the attempted hit on Cameron. Following a brief foot pursuit, Seneca Steeprock was also taken into custody, burying his 9mm handgun in the snow, later found by a K-9 unit. Alexia Cutbank was convicted of first-degree attempted murder, serving a sentence exceeding 19 years. Seneca Steeprock was convicted of aiding and abetting attempted first-degree murder and possessing a firearm as a convicted felon, currently serving a 20-year sentence. Cameron, interviewed after the arrests, claimed no recollection of events following the shooting or who might be responsible. Nevertheless, the suspect's brother became the crucial witness for the police, leading to a unanimous jury verdict and the imprisonment of the would-be assassins. Fortunately, the victim survived his injuries and underwent a substantial recovery.